Hey, this is Little Zam. What's up? You're watching Trending Topics with Pigeons and Planes. It's funny because people doubted me coming up with a name like Lil Zan, but here we are and it's working. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> um, yeah, people, I'm not even gonna lie. I doubted myself too. I doubted myself too. I doubted the name Lil Zan. I'm trying to buy a ferret. Two things I'd like to do in the future with my name are drop the little and eventually, way more down the road, just be Diego. I'm really trying to brand like Xanarchy as an anti Zan movement, but there's just so much hate because of the name attached, like Lil Zan. And there's nothing I can do about that but just keep trying to let these people know that Xanarchy is an anti Zan movement. I'm against Zans. Um, my early music, yeah, it had like Zan references in it, but I was off Zans back then. Like I said uh, in the interview I did with Pigeons and Planes, it was a. Uh, it's like a journey. It's like you listen to the beginning of my music, or I'm all fucked up off drugs. To, so you follow the journey into the whole anti Zan movement. So that's what it is, yeah. Me and Bobby have another hit. That dude's the best producer. Yeah, shout out Bobby Johnson right there. Um, yeah, I met, I never met Bobby personally. He lives somewhere in France. Oui. He's a great guy. I love Bobby. I think we initially met through emails. He just emailed me beats, and I had actually. I'd heard like the OG Bobby Johnson, but I didn't think that was him for some, you know what I mean? I was like, that can't be him. But um, yeah, he produced that beat. And then I, I looked up, I, look, I looked into him because I was like, who is Bobby Johnson? And then I saw he produced 7-Eleven for Beyonce, Woody Year, Big Deshaun. I'm like, oh shit, like why are you sending me beats, man? You know what I mean? Um, but he's just got such a unique style and his like BPMs are like, unheard of, like it's crazy. On my album, he's produced quite a lot of it, so. If you like the little Zan Bobby Johnson collabs, get ready for those, cause it's crazy. LOL. <laughs> Making my parents proud has been the best feeling so far. It's just the best. And the fact that I was able to get my mom like a crib out in downtown as well, like right next to mine, it just makes me happy because I, I'm not gonna lie, like I like mooched off them for like a long time, like uh, a long time, up until I was probably like 19 and I started working. Everybody knows that shitty uh, street sweeping job. And then um, just to be able to finally give back to them is the best feeling, greatest feeling in the world. Even when I got a face tat and I wasn't popping, they were like, they were still so positive, it was crazy. So shout out to supportive parents. <laughs> oh my God, the worst thing. I go looking for the worst things, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, this is a website called Live Leak, and I go on there and just watch like the worst shit possible to watch. So I I look for it. I don't know why. It doesn't bring me pleasure. I just I'm very interested in like what's happening and shit. I'm trying to buy a ferret. LOL. <laughs> um, yeah, I brought it up to my manager. Stat. I was like, uh, how do I go about getting a ferret? And he says, you don't go about getting a ferret. You're not getting a ferret. So he shut my dreams down pretty quick. Thanks, that. Um, but I know a swap meet back home in my hometown of Redlands. I know where you can get a ferret, so. He yeah. laughs now, yeah, but. I had, growing up, <laughs> guinea pigs. Horrible pets, by the way. Serious, horrible. <laughs> guinea pigs are horrible pets. Petco so sold me a mom and didn't tell me it was pregnant. So one like morning, I yeah, yeah. One morning I just wake up to like little squeals and then I got a whole family of guinea pigs. And they're cute, right? But you try to touch, you like try to touch them and they just fucking go, you know what I mean? No, can't do it, never. Yeah, and it's, yeah, and I didn't, I didn't take really good care of the cage. Well, you take care of the ferret. Yeah, oh, ferret, I feel like the ferret take care of me. <laughs> I think I need the ferret. <laughs> When the ferret needs uh, me. Yo, shout out Pigeons and Planes, Xanarchy Gang, 2018. We going crazy. What, bitch? <laughs>